yellow coated, different kid, flockers got you be. Told the doctor I'm a healthy kid, I smell broccoli. I will run across your whole hood like Monopoly. Oh boy, you so broke boy, flockers got you be. Chocolate, call me Reese's, can't catch me without the piece. Say la vie, I'm ten toes, boy, you drowning on your feet. I was so sad, man, it's okay, we back in this thing. Okay, so good, we sleep with the cut up, I want to turn. You know what's the bullshit part about this? I got a video about Kodak Black's artist that I still have not dropped yet. But this motherfucker is in the news again, so I got to talk about his shit first before I drop the video on his artist. So you go, honestly, y'all going to see some late videos on me. I have the more Ray and Moneybag Yo album reviews done. But news has just been coming out that I have not been able to drop those. So those gonna be late. I am sorry. It is what it is. We gonna get to them eventually. Just know they was recorded before. I can't do shit about it. You know what I'm saying? And that's why the, the wardrobe ain't changing. Because news just keep coming out. I'm like, fuck it, man. I'm just put this bullshit on. Man. I ain't why you come here. You come for the news. Well, you, you come here for my buffoonery and the, the bullshit I be talking. But you ain't come here to see how I'm dressed. If you do. Hey, what's up? Go to the Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Wanna see the fit tag? I ain't gonna say what's up. I like your bone so you know what I'm saying? Anyways, anyways, but yeah, go in the link in the description and like and subscribe. If, hey, if you think the boy killing it today. Or if you just wanna hear more about some YouTube not YouTube. Well yeah, there's some YouTube effery, but more buffoonery and coonery in the hip hop game. Just hey, support your boy and like subscribe. Hey. But anyways, we back in here. We here to talk about Kodak. Now he recently had to go he caught a plea deal for, or got the guilty plea for, a sexual assault case, and we're here to talk about it. Now, this happened so long ago, I forgot this was going on after he got the pardon from the, uh, Donald Trump and he got out, but allegedly, this was still going on. I thought he was excused of everything, but this still stood tall, and now he was, went to court and he took the guilty plea about it, and he has some statements to say. So basically, Kodak Black has appeared to resolve the last bit of his legal troubles after appearing in court earlier today for his sexual assault case, which happened so long ago. I think that was 2018, 2019. But anyways, the rapper's team issued a statement clarifying that he took the plea, the plea in court on behalf of Kodak's legal team. Quote, you know, today, Bill Capri took a plea to the legal charge of assault a non-sex offense and received 18 months probation this was a change this was a change of charge from the original charge having constantly denied these five-year-old allegations thank you he's entered his appeal in order to resolve the matter the court case that has loomed over kodak black's career since he was first indicted on first degree sexual assault after a teenage girl accused him of raping her which, it, we're going to get to the little Mosey case. We're going to get to that shit. But anyways, the rapper took to Twitter after where he said that he and the victim wanted to get the case over with before doubling down on his innocence. This is Kodak. Now, not his legal team. I ain't got to register as a sexual offender or none. Shit, that's a play. If you ask me, LOL, y'all got me fucked up. I ain't that freaky, homie. He tweeted before adding that a woman offered to give him fellatio in traffic. Why the F would I go take some? He added in a separate tweet. My heart goes out to all the girls out here getting raped and shit for real. But I didn't do that shit, he concluded. Now listen. I understand we want to go with the teenage girl. But in the little Mosey case, which I reported on and I did a video on, we don't know if they lying. Again, now the little Mosey kids, I feel like that nigga did some fuck shit. But I ain't gonna lie to you. I think that I think he did some fuck shit. But in this case, right? I don't know. Let's not act like yo it, it, that there has never been situations where women have lied on a man. So I'm not gonna pass judgment too quick. I need more of the story. You know what I'm saying? So that was the thing. But the fact that this is settled. He is fine. He's not a sexual offender. It was what it was. It's cool. I ain't mad at this shit. Because I ain't gonna lie. I might be a little biased because I love Codex musically. But still, I didn't want him to go down for this. Especially him just getting out of jail. That's crazy. And like my nigga Young Blue said when he was talking about Kodak in this case. Sometimes you gotta take the L or what looks like an L. So you can remain good or humble. And that's factual. And I ain't even mad at this thing. But let's continue. Now, Kodak has some more tweets. He has a the smiley face with the sunglasses. Then he has, I'm good, fuck you. He's at five years later. 
both of us just wanted this shit over with and I ain't have to come off no money. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be wanting a nigga to go out sad, homie, wishing bad on a real nigga. I ain't never seen it work. All right, YouTube, these are quotes. This is what he said. So if you're going to get mad at me for cussing, hey, I'm sorry. I report on shit. My bad. But anyways, my heart goes out to, oh, okay, I read it. <laughs> I'm too gangster to fly for that shit. Like I said, I would not be surprised if girls try to do that to get money out of them. We've seen the women like Selena Powell, and I am not saying this teenage girl is a Selena Powell, but will smash a rapper, record it, and extort them for money to not put this out. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, if shit happens, I need more story. All we, all, the most we have got was, oh, he, he, he is like, um, guilty. He did this to this girl, da, 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 da. And I'm not gonna, listen, Kodak, like, what? In his 20s, right? Let's not act like no teenage females would hit this nigga up who are underage and try to, like, suck him off and smash him. Let's not live in that world where it's naive. Like, Lil Mosey's 19, right? And I think the girl's a minor or whatever the fuck. Now, personally, I don't see no problem with that. Yeah, he's famous, but shorty's 17, he is 19. Like, bro, they're close in age. It's not that wild, in my opinion. But also, they're trying to fuck him. If you, and like, let's not, like, not every nigga when they're on IG, some of these females don't put their age on their IG, like, not every nigga look, if you look above age, not every nigga gonna be like, one day trying to fuck you, like, oh, what's your ID? Oh, what's your ID? No. So you could say, yeah, it's their fault, but the girl is the one chasing the nigga, so you also gotta give some blame to her. Again, I am not condoning this sexual act of happening, no, and I feel it is very disgusting, and if he did do this, and he is 100% guilty, he should do the time, but we cannot say this woman is 100% innocent if it is true she hit this dude up and promised sexual favors, I'm not going to say she's 100% innocent, because, again, she didn't know what she was getting into, that is fair, but at the same time, if you know you was younger, and you was not of legal age, to be smashing this man. Now what are you doing? Now this is a rape charge. I don't know what happened in the room. I don't know if she said no. And then he took matters into his own hands. We need more information. I need some more. If there is more information or her side is out. Send it to me. And I will retract to this video. But until then. Hey Kodak. I fuck with the music. I ain't gonna lie. Hey you still here? I'm happy. Clap for my hands. It what it is. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. That's all I got to say for this video. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully I did not offend anybody with my views. I'm just I just need more information. You cannot just come tell me like he's a rapist and I'm like, yeah, burn him alive. No, I need more information. I, I cannot do that. I am one of those people. You might you might view that as I teeter the fence, but I just need some more information. You know what I'm saying? Hey. When I'm off of this thing, it's been Judge KA. You are dismissed. But before then, turn to your neighbor, shake his hand, and while you're doing that, like to subscribe for the video. Okay. Okay, I'm off for this time. Aye.